So the first thing you have to do is figure out which CCs you need to send to Reason. And you could do that by looking at the MIDI implementation chart. In this case, I want to make a uh, rack for subtractor. So um, I want to control like the amp envelope. So you can see right here the amp decay is uh, CC9, uh, sustain is CC12. If I come down here a little bit further, attack and release are on uh, 72 and 73. All right, so I'm just going to write these numbers down. Next, you need to create a user remote script. So go to uh, documents and settings, your name or owner, application data, Ableton, your version of live, preferences, user remote scripts, and uh, create a folder. I'm going to call this subtractor and uh, then copy this user configuration file into this folder. All right, now you can edit this file. All right, first change the name. All right, then for these eight encoders, this is where you put in the CCs that you wrote down. All right, when you're finished, just close this and save it. Don't rename it. All right, now you need to set up the MIDI preferences. So go into Options, Preferences, MIDI sync. On the control surfaces tab, you'll find the script that you just created. So here's subtractor. I'll select that. And then for the output, select the virtual MIDI port. So I'm going to select out to MIDI yoke one. And then for the track input, I'm going to turn the track switch on for in for MIDI yoke one. All right, so I just have a preset loaded in subtractor here and a MIDI and audio track set up like you normally would. All right, and on this MIDI track, I'm going to insert a MIDI effect rack. All right. And just to make things easier, I'm going to label this real quick. All right, so I renamed the rack, renamed all the macros, and now I can control subtractor. All right, and uh, in addition to being able to control it in real time, you can also save this as part of your project and save it in the library as a preset. So very flexible.